Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about solid state transformer for electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Now we've been talking about uh, electric vehicle for quite a long time and that is one of the reason is because the increasing demand of electric vehicles in today's market. Nowadays people are trying to abandon the usage of gasoline or ICE based engines and starting to we can see the trend of them starting to shift towards uh, the electric vehicle and here this is why we talk about the transition well we see the transportation uh, it's about like you know the ICE engines are emitting about 26.96 percent of CO2 per sector and this is the report done by European Federation and because as of now even though 93 percent of our major transport is dependent on oil and fossil fuel there is need to cut down the co2 emission um, to provide the feasible solution to the traditional transportation system and since the last decade ev has captured widespread popularity over the ic engine operated vehicle the demand especially due to the pandemic have been increasing of electric vehicle and we can see that in a while so as you can see here we can see the Tesla is the example that I'll be taking and to see the increasing demand of how the things have been changing we can see the example of Tesla stock as of today so if you were to see what the price is of today it's is about 1.5 grand which is too much and if we were to see a year we can see it started off with nothing but a 252 dollar per share and we can see it due to the increase of demand we can see it expo exploding towards the sky all right so from it started with 264 and now it's currently at 1542 dollars to be exact so that really tells us what the price check is and how things are working from the sector point of view of the demand and supply so supply and demand for evs are definitely increasing and we can see that using the tesla price stock all right now what if one one of the main things that I want to talk about in this research paper is not about the increasing demand but it's starting from the increasing demand that is that if the demand of EV increases we got to find out better ways for charging the EV and one of the proposed method apart from all the previous methods I've discussed in the other videos is having a solid state transformer and what's going on here is that we have a solid state transformer with isolation capability and it is a three phase uh, transformer so that three phase is being connected and input is about 800 volts in a dc dc 800 volts that's being entered from this system and it's being stored the energy is being stored into the solid state transformer after that it's being transported from one region which is the state a solid state transformer to the multi-port DC charger and we can see we can have a different charging just like how we have different petrol pumps at the station where you can just park your vehicle and charge your car wherever you would like such as here or here or here same thing we have multi-port charger where you just have a charger that you need to connect to your car same thing over here and this whole thing is being connected to the uh, solid state uh, with a transformer with isolation capability so this is the main thing that's giving energy to this pumps the electric charger in our sense and this is the one that's giving more energy to your supply which is the car now the way this works is that once the multi-port uh, DC charger, which are this one, receives the energy, it's being transferred directly to the charger, which is present at this time over here. This charger then provides it to the connector, which is present in your car. The connector gives it to the vehicle, and therefore the vehicle is being charged because you have plugged the plug into the system and as well. Now, say for some cause, uh, there have been a mismatch of for example there have been a mismatch of the energy that we needed but it's currently not present 
So the way this research has been conducted is that we are also gaining energy and not relying it from the energy department, which is giving us supply to the solid state, but we are not completely dependent on them. The way this works is because we have something called solar panel. The renewable energy system is also being introduced into this factor. All right, so we know how this whole process works. So this thing is highlighted. The way that the other process works is I'm going to be using black marker for it. Now, the way the other process works is that you have solar panels which are connected and are located near about area where these pumps are already located. And what they do is that they passively gain energy over the period of time. When they passively gain the energy, the solar panels which are over here, they transfer the energy to the converter which is a DC to DC converter. This DC, the energy present in DC and DC converter, what it does is that once the energy is being transferred, it also transfers it to the solid state. So when there is a case where the electric department did not supply enough energy to the solid state which is very rare case but what it does is basically it just gives a, another alternative of supplying charge so the charging of the vehicle never really stops so this is one of the model that is being proposed in the research paper which you can have a look at it at this url all right now let's talk about the EV batteries and how the presentation of this whole thing works okay now what you want to do here is um, talk about this EV batteries now we know that EV batteries are about 800 watts DC and this is also DC this is coupled uh, coupled transformers so what it really does is that once the energy is being transferred from here and onwards the three phases are really working together to supply this and you can see how this are being connected and separated in a parallel uh, circuits this then are being supplied from one end to another and this is how the distribution of solid state energy really works and in total what this is is that this part area over here is your solid state energy which is the charging infrastructure of 800 watts which are being proposed in this uh, research paper and this whole area region over here is the energy of three phase 800 watt DC to DC which is being transferred from the energy department to your solid state energy and as I mentioned before, if we want to add more circuits to this, we can do so by having a solar panel and DC to DC converter in this area as well. So which will be connected over here in this end. So the supply of energy never really stops. And in total, what really happens and one of the main reasons why you can do this is that when you have amount of energy, which I talked about, if we talk about the cost purposes, the energy and the amount of money you will be spending by borrowing or taking energy from the electric department during the peak load hours will be much uh, higher. So what you can do is take that energy, store it and supply that back to the electric department and send it during the peak hours. So what really happens is that say you have to pay this much amount but when you transfer the energy from the solar panel to the electric department and you end up paying only this much so you can watch the previous video where I go into more detail analysis about the cost benefits of having a solar panel but this is probably the whole concept which is being discovered and identified and demystified in this article so let's go to our conclusion in this paper uh, uh, we have been uh, given a 800 watt DC to DC converter charging infrastructure and there have been various issues and challenging for developing EV charging infrastructures in cities and on highways which are being discussed and what really needs to be done is that the proposed system needs to be utilized which is of solid state transformer 
with their benefits which are discussed which I have discussed in this video and this really gives us a, another better initiative to be prepared for the upcoming and uprising demand for electric vehicle so this proposed system which is of 800 watts and solid state uh, transformer is perhaps one of the most uh, benefit benefiting uh, thing and a concept as of today for electric vehicle so you can take this idea implement it and become uh, a owner of something called a uh, charging stations and you can do so by following this whole concept and if you understood it thanks for watching if you have any questions you can post it down below in the comment section if you enjoyed the video give it a like and have a good day